हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस टैट प्रो बेसिक टू एडवांस फुल कोर्स ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज लेट्स स्टार्ट हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी लर्न इन स्टैट प्रो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज हाउ टू एनहेंस और हाउ टू इंक्रीज द साइज ऑफ डायग्राम्स एंड द एरो ऑफ द लोडिंग तो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज इफ यू आर न्यू यूजर प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर फ्यूचर वीडियोस ओके गो टू द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ स्ट्रक्चर ए सिंपली सपोर्टेड ए सिंपली बीम विद डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लोडिंग वी क्रिएटेड देन वी एनालाइज एंड चेंज द एनहेंस द रिजल्ट ऑफ द Uh, structure result of the load and the load arrows let's start we provide fix support at the both end then a property of cross section area assume 0.5 by 0.4 then assign to whole structure define loads dead load in dead load we define a point load minus 10 a udl uniform load minus 5 1 2 m 1 2 2 m and a linear bearing load minus 2 to minus 4 not linear bearing trapezoidal minus 2 to minus 4 because in trapezoidal we have option to pro assign a part of the beam so we are assigning this loads okay this is so what we learn in this tutorial first of all you can see here the arrow of the point load is too long so how to short this arrow how to increase the size of this uh, loading arrows and how to increase or decrease the diagram like shear force bending moment deflection like that so what we do go to the scale symbols and labels and in symbols and label you can first of all click on symbols and labels then in this window you have to go on scale in scale you have to click on the point force value you have to increase the point force value for decrease the arrow size before we uh, change this value you can check the apply immediately okay so apply immediately increase the value now you see here the arrow of the point load is decrease now you want to decrease or increase in these two diagram because both are distributed force and the unit is kilonewton per meter so you have to change the distributed force value for increase and decrease the size and okay by shift v shift v you show the value of load okay this is the uh, enhance the diagram or arrow space arrow size of the loading now we have to analyze then check the results okay first of all we activate bending moment this is bending moment how to increase the size of this bending moment press control button of the keyboard hold and rotate this scroll like this up and down you can change the size now deactivate bending moment change uh, click on shear force then again by control pressing and holding and move rotation of scroll now uncheck the shear force now activate deflection again same as like this okay 
if you all result at same time you want to increase or decrease like that okay and you can also change this diagram by this option scales and labels go to the scales and label scales apply immediately here this is a bending moment z you can change the size of the diagram from here and if you want to show the value of the result on the diagram go to the post processing this is deflection go to the result view value bend beam result and the deflection annotate this is the deflection same as activate bending moment and go to the result view value beam result and check bending moment and this is the result of bending moment okay so this is the video about how to increase or decrease the loading diagram or the result diagram and how to check the result value on the diagram if you like this video please subscribe my channel share my videos and click on bell icon and if you want to support my work please go to the description link and be a patreon thank you